Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now what happens with too much heating of the earth? Now as I said, now if the amount of greenhouse gases increases too much, if there are too many greenhouse gases, then what will happen? There are too many gases to absorb the infrared radiation. As a result, the interior of the earth will get too much heated up. So that will cause global warming. So that is a, a threat to the environment. You would have heard about the term global warming. It has become very common these days. Now, what is global warming? Global means something which happens at a global level, the worldwide level. Now, it is over increase in the temperature of Earth's surface due to action of greenhouse gases. Now, if the greenhouse gases increase suddenly or if their action doubles or triples, what will happen? The temperature within the Earth's surface will keep will suddenly increase a lot and this over increase in temperature will lead to over warming of the earth's surface and this is known as global warming that is over increase in the temperature of earth's surface due to the action of greenhouse gases. So this concept is called as global warming. Now we do not want global warming to happen. As I said, now if the overall temperature start increasing gradually, what will happen? It will, it will pose a threat to the survival of the organisms. Then. So you will be surprised to know that in the last 100 years, the average temperature so over a period of 100 years, the average temperature of the earth increased by 0.6 degrees Celsius. Now the temperature, this difference might appear to be small, but you will be surprised to know that in the last just 30 years, this increase has taken place actually in the last 30 years. So if there is an increase of 0.6 degrees Celsius, which is an overall increase in the average temperature of the earth, which has taken place in just 30 years, so 30 years is not a very long time. So over a small period of time, the average temperature of the earth increased by 0.6 degrees Celsius. So if it keeps on increasing in this fashion, what will happen is it will become difficult for the organisms to survive on earth. So that is why it is very important to maintain the temperature of the earth at, at the right value. Now, why this global warming is taking place? That is due to the greenhouse gases. And what are they? Mainly methane and carbon dioxide. So we have to make sure that the concentration of methane or carbon dioxide should not increase too much in the atmosphere. Because if that increases, then the greenhouse effect also increases. Because you have more amount of gases which can trap the infrared radiation. So let us quickly look at the causes of global warming. So one cause is increased use of fossil fuels because increased burning fossil fuels release a lot of carbon dioxide. So that is actually adding up carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So the concentration of carbon dioxide is increasing in the atmosphere. So that is what we don't want because more carbon dioxide, more greenhouse effect, so more uh, warming up of the earth and more global warming. Deforestation. Now, if they start cutting down trees, what do the trees do? Trees absorb carbon dioxide. They utilize carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Now, if we do not have trees, so that will also result in increase in carbon dioxide. And in too much increase in carbon dioxide is not good. So, deforestation is also not good. So, you see all these things are related. So, if we want to control the, uh, global warming, we, we have to have more trees. We should not cut down trees unnecessarily. Cutting down trees also affect the ecosystem. So if we want to keep the ecosystem safe, we should not cut down trees. If we want to stop species from being extinct, then also we should not cut down trees. So there are quite a few things which we should follow if we want to keep our environment, the overall environment safe. Overpopulation. Now, when the population keeps on increasing, so po overpopulation is the underlying cause for many things. For example, deforestation. Cause one of the causes for deforestation is also overpopulation. Now, when the population increases so much, the needs of the people also increases. Like earlier, you had just uh, say 
10 people in a village. Now you have say 10,000 people in the same village. Now when you have 10,000 people, the population of the village has suddenly increased so much. So you need more houses, you need more food to eat. When you need more houses, what do you do? You start cutting down the forests and construct houses. You need more furnitures, you start cutting down trees and uh, start making furnitures. You need more food for that you want to increase the food production so for that you use more pesticides, more chemicals which cause more water pollution, air pollution. So if you see a lot, most of the problems in fact in our environment is because of overpopulation. So the population needs to be controlled. Now what are the harmful effects of global warming? How is it harmful? Now, global warming can actually be deadly. So let us quickly look at some of its adverse effects. Melting of ice glaciers or mountains or ice sheets. Now, when the temperature, when the overall temperature of the earth is increasing so badly, so what will happen? So all the ice glaciers or the ice mountains, they will start melting. Now, when they melt, what will happen? The sea level will increase. Now, let us suppose th these are the ice mountains. Earlier, let us suppose this was the sea level. Now, when these mountains melt, so they, they also keep on adding the water. So, when the water keeps coming from these mountains, so the level increases. So, this much become, is the increase in the sea level. Now, what happens when the sea level increases? Now, not only this, now when these mountains or glaciers, they start melting up, it also lead to the destruction of living organisms or ecosystems of this region. There are a lot of living organisms, animals, birds who are comfortable staying in such cold climate. Now, when this entire thing got spoiled, all those animals will also get spoiled, the entire ecosystem will get spoiled. Okay, now when the sea level increases, what will happen? When this increases, a lot of coastal areas will get submerged. Like, let us suppose this was the sea level. So there were many cities and towns which were there, which we call as coastal areas on the sea side. Now when the sea level increased, so everything got submerged. So it will spoil a lot of coastal areas. Increased precipitation. Now, overall the temperature has increased. So, there will be increased rainfall and increased snowfall. So, the entire balance of the atmosphere will also get disturbed. Higher probability of flood because now since all the ice glaciers and mountains they have melted. So, we have too much of water everywhere. Sea level has increased. So, probability of flood and flood means destruction. So, too much of water everywhere will actually cause a lot of problems. So when flood happen, when, when, when there is a flood, so that means complete destruction of that particular area. Change in ecosystems. Now when this complete area got spoiled, what happens? Now many of the animals will lose their habitat. So many of the animals will migrate to new habitats. So some ecosystems will get completely disrupted. Some new ecosystems will be formed. So the ecosystems will also get disrupted badly. Now, not only all these, there will be many other things which will happen. For example, when floods occur, a lot of diseases might get spread. Lack of electricity, lack of food, all these becomes very common. Now, due to so many changes, what happens is there is always some abrupt change in the climate. Because you see, more rain, more water, uh, floods, so all these together also brings about an abrupt change in climate. So, uh, so this brings in problems for a lot of organisms who are unable to adapt to this changing climate. So. Many of the organisms get killed, many of the organisms become extinct, so the entire balance of life gets disrupted. So global warming is a serious threat and something needs to be done about it. Now what we can do from our end is not to increase the concentration of the greenhouse gases that is carbon dioxide and methane. So we should always try to follow practices which decrease the content of carbon dioxide or methane in the atmosphere so that global warming can be brought under control. So this is how greenhouse effect also plays an important role or that also contributes to, the, to an environmental issue. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience.
Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.